hi guys how are you all doing i hope you're doing great it's 9th of may 2024 and it's time for our wait for today and except from ucb ireland how are you my darling i know you're doing great okay and i pray you'll be doing great okay my darling our topic today says the right attitude part two we did part one yesterday and our bible reading is taken from the book of mark 9 verse 23 and I read from my Bible, it says, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. This is from King James Version. So I have new King James Version. It says, All things are possible to him who believes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay. The most things who was reputed to be the greatest orator in ancient Greece had a serious speech impediment. Legend has it that he overcame it by reciting verses with pebbles in his mouth and speaking above the roar of the waves at the sea shore. As a prisoner in the Wartburg castle, Martin Luther made use of his time by translating the New Testament into German. Wow. Beethoven wrote his greatest symphonic masterpieces after losing his hearing. John Boyan wrote his pilgrim's progress when he was in prison. Hmm. Daniel Defoe also wrote in prison, creating Robinson Crusoe. I hope I'm pronouncing all these names correctly. Abraham Lincoln is taught by many to be the best of the United States presidents but he probably would not have become known as a great leader if he had not led the county through the civil war. Often, difficult situations seem to be involved in producing great leaders and thinkers, but that is only the case when their attitudes are right. When a problem comes in contact with someone who has the right attitude, the result is often wonderful. Out of great turmoil come great diplomats, business people, scientists, educators, pastors, and others. Every challenge is an opportunity and every opportunity has a challenge. But it's the attitude with which you approach your problem that largely determines the outcome. When a man whose son couldn't speak or hear asked Jesus to heal him, Jesus replied, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. The man replied, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. Wow, and Jesus did. Plus, he healed the man's son. If you need help with your attitude, talk to the Lord today. Praise the Lord hallelujah the right attitude hey god oh god help us so. <laughs> to always show the right attitude though to always act right okay praise the lord hallelujah so the right attitude makes a lot of difference in our lives praise the lord hallelujah you guys remember that yesterday i said that yeah that was part one yesterday so today the right attitude we even not only bless us though we are going through a lot of things in life if we have the right attitude it will put us in the right position you know my great grandfather's nickname is a uh, good name is better than money in Igbo language it said this way kego kego good name is better than money all right, my darling, like I said, right attitude will bless you even though you are going you are going through pain, you know, a lot of things. Look at the example that we were giving here, Abraham Lincoln. They got the right attitude. Likewise, other people, scientists, pastors, you know, so they treated other people right. So how are you treating another person? If you are in the position, if you're privileged to be in this top position, how are you treating your employees? 
how are you treating your parents how are you treating your 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 uncles your nephews your nieces your siblings how do you treat them how do you treat your friends your attitude determines how people will respond and react to you praise the lord hallelujah so in order for us to exceed abundantly we must change our attitude okay there is something i love here that we read about it says every challenge is an opportunity and every opportunity has a challenge but it is the attitude with which you approach your problem that largely determines the outcome hmm it takes a lot, especially when we're going through difficulties in our lives. How do we handle our problems? How do we handle it? Do we have the right attitude to approach that problem so that we don't even bring another or add another problem to ourselves? God forbid. Oh, my darling, I pray we have the right attitude. Okay, because it will take us places. It will open doors for us. It will help us in different ways. And God is going to be happy with us. Amen. We're going to have the right attitude. Okay? That's why what we're going through. Don't let anybody make you to change your right character. Don't let anybody to make you change your right attitude because of what they think or the way they reason. Your conscience tells you the truth. So, let's do what is right. The right attitude matters a lot. Okay, my darling. And that is it for today for us. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from UCB Ireland. And we're reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous videos? Just down the description, I'm going to see all the chapters we've read. But for today, we are reading 2 Samuel chapter 9, chapter 10, chapter 11, and John chapter 18 from verse 19 to 40. Thank you again for listening. You know I love you, my darling. But God loves you most. See you in my next video. And don't forget to share this video, okay? I love you. Bye-bye.